That was awesome. Today is one of the days I know you guys have been waiting for, and we got Xander 13 here today. We're gonna take him for some serious hot laps in the new GT500. I've had it out for a few sessions already, uh, one wet session, and then I had it out for like two dry sessions, but we did have a problem. We were blowing sound with the car, which is why we got that little primitive modification done there. Just some <laughs> fiberglass muffler packing. Hopefully that gets us through. If not, we're just gonna have to lift, but we're not really here to run lap times today. We're here to have fun. Let Xander feel the car out on track. And honestly, I'm still learning the car as well on track. So we're gonna get uh, geared up and get in the car and go have some fun. You ready? The last, last time we were here in your the yard, I mean, I was a little nervous, <laughs> honestly. Well, this car is definitely faster. I've had it out enough that I can promise you that. It's definitely oh, faster. God. So you're yeah. in for a treat. Yeah. All right, this should be fun. This is gonna be a blast. <laughs> I'm nervous again. I trust you though. I know you know how to drive, man. You're in good hands. Yeah. Starting to already see some overcast. That's not good for the sound limits, but. No. He's probably going to question me about it here. <laughs> what is on your tailpipes? <laughs> Gotta quiet it down. I tried a little something. <laughs> I got some fiberglass packed around the tips. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where you learned that one. <laughs> I know that ain't gonna work on busy days, so I still gotta figure something else. I wanna be here for TT National, so yeah. we'll figure it out one way or the other. But um, I'll come back and get a check from it anyway. Here we go for our first real good full speed laps in the GT500. We got Xander 13 riding shotgun here. Getting up to about 140, 142 miles an hour on the straight here. Real good turn in. Right away I notice it's got real good grip. Actually it's pretty surprising that it has just as good as grip if not better than the GT350R. Uh, which is really what makes this car faster than the GT350R. It does have just as good a grip, cornering capabilities, braking capabilities, but it's so much faster in a straight line, and that's how you can easily um, beat the lap times of a GT350R, I would say, on pretty much any track. So here we are, rolled about 90, 100 miles an hour through turn five. That's pretty good speed. It's definitely got a lot left in it. As I said before, these are our real first real laps in the car we got a passenger in the car so we're taking it a little bit easy trying to learn the car but right away I can just see it's this is going to be a decent lap time already first first real attempt at a lap time For such a heavy car, it's got even the slow speed stuff, it's just got such incredible grip. The tires are phenomenal on this car. I would say the tires on this car, which is probably part of the reason why it is as quick as it is, um, <clears throat> I would say the tires on this car are probably better than what comes on the 350R. As we know, they make special compounds for the 350R and for the GT500, and th these tires are just really, really good. So this lap looks like it'll definitely be in the upper to mid-teens, which is a really good lap for a stock car on straight tires. There's a lot of guys out here in fully track, fully track prep cars um, on Hoosiers or on race tires that run, you know, barely get into the teens. So here we are coming back onto the front straight to complete our first lap. And as you can see there, I almost hit the muffler packing that we put in the exhaust, uh, which caused me to slow down quite a bit there at the sh on the straightaway, right before the finish line, and we still knocked off the 217, which is a really good lap out here. Car's got a whole lot left in it. Like I said, these are just, you know, learning the car laps, 
but 217, I'm pretty impressed with that for a first try. We got part two. He told me he's going to give it a little bit more, so <laughs> <laughs> see what she's got. Guys, round two. You ready? Round two, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's turn the AC off this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. He's gonna turn it off and go faster. We might have to lift by three, which will hurt the lap time, but we'll still get to feel the car, you know? Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, so coming back onto the front straight again to complete another lap. This lap we just missed the 215 mark, that was a 216.06, which is a really good lap. I mean, there is still a lot left in the car. Um, if we weren't running a passenger, that would probably get us a second and a half or so. Um, the tires are starting to get a little bit used up and we are still learning the car. So I really think we can get down into the low, low teens, possibly even the 210 range. But um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned because we're going to be putting this car up against the GT350R on track here real soon. So I'm looking forward to doing that, seeing which one is faster on track and seeing what kind of lap times we can end up getting out of this. So I'll see you in the next one, guys.